Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode. YouTube and Instagram, as always, are always awesome with their community guidelines, so if you're under the age of 18, please don't watch this. But if you're over the age of 18, you're cool. So let's jump into this week's episode. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, guys, welcome to this week's video. It is Canagro807 here. We have no time for fancy montages this week, guys. Uh, I don't know if you remember a couple weeks back, I uh, asked you guys to take a look at the leaves on these girls. Take a look. Uh, see if you notice anything weird about them. Uh, I got a lot of comments, a lot of feedback, a lot of people thinking, you know what? It's powdery mold. Give it a, uh, your environment a little bit of a check. Give it a little bit of a wipe off, we should be good to go. Uh, yeah, no, that wasn't the case, guys. Uh, turns out um, that those little uh, imperfections on those leaves and those little white spots, uh, turns out, uh, yeah, those were uh, spider mites. Yeah, so uh, that's what we're dealing with this week, everybody, is spider mites, and we are going to... Uh, show you what I use to get rid of them. Now, the way I found these girls is if you look underneath the lights and where the leaves are there underneath, you can actually see webbing in between the fan leaves there. That's how I noticed them. I got my microscope out, zoomed in, and uh, yeah, I saw them crawling all over the top of these leaves and just eating up everything. Now, the issue with these spider mites is that you have to be very careful when you're spraying them and make sure you get them on because as you can see they are starting to make webbing on there you can see the bite marks there but they are like zombies so spider mites quickly become immune to whatever you do to try and kill them if you don't take care of your spider mite problem by basically eradicating them all completely from your grow room you may seem find uh you you're gonna find that there's a population that's just going completely out of control of basically super mites now what they're doing here is basically they're gonna lay their eggs they're gonna make their webs cover those up so they're a little bit uh, easier to uh protect there but that's what you want to do is you need to get rid of these things off the hop so what uh, i did was as you can see there's leaves this is underneath the leaf so there's eggs all underneath the leaves and everything so you have to get underneath and on top so what I ended up doing was I went out and I got a bottle of Safer's end all because my issue right now is is that I have spider mites during the flower phase so I don't want to use anything that's really harsh um, on these girls because it's going to affect the smoke afterwards and I don't want to be smoking in uh, harsh chemicals anything like that with my flower afterwards so we're just going to spray the living hell out of these girls we're just going to make them completely drenched now I am doing this just before lights out that way we don't have to worry about uh, the lights actually using that oil that's inside of the end all and the pesticide basically what it would do is it magnifies the light ends up burning your leaves you don't want that so that's why we do it just before lights out so that way it has all night to kind of soak in and do its work. So after we're done all that, like I said, I did take these girls out, put them up on a table so that way as you can see I can get underneath the leaves, spray all underneath there, and then once I did spray all underneath there and put them back into the tent, for the next three or four days I basically just kept spraying them down like this every night before lights out until the bottle was completely gone i went through two bottles just to make sure because like i said these guys are like zombies so if i stopped here and i stopped using it and there's still some left when i go to use this in a week those spider mites they're going to be completely immune to that safer's end all so i won't be able to kill them with that and i'd have to try a different technique but as you can see after i spray them you can really see actually now the damage that the, the spider mites did to the plants so uh, we're going to keep an eye on these for the next week or so uh, just maintaining checking the leaves with the microscope making sure that there's no uh, new spider mite growth uh, making sure that the activity has slowed down because the last thing we want is these spider mites to get into our buds and start turning those buds into webbing 
now i just want to say thank you guys again this week uh there was so many subscribers that i don't have enough space on a page there was over 40 of you so thank you guys so much make sure if you are not following me on the weTube or instagram you follow me over there for all the behind the scenes and up-to-date uh content there uh so yeah make sure you check me out there now before we do end this video this week i just want to say thank you to everybody again for coming out supporting me every week i hope this did answer some of your questions and help you out a little bit if you do have a spider mite problem in your garden right now now the one thing i will say is going into next season i will be picking up some neem oil i pick i'm gonna pick this up from my local market um what i'm gonna do is as preventative starting from basically day one i'm going to be adding one teaspoon of neem oil with a little bit of eco-friendly dish detergent into a water bottle and spraying my plants down so that way we don't have this issue again if you do have spider mites or even if you're an outdoor grower or an indoor grower i do strongly recommend you getting some neem oil and doing this preventative measure yourself now guys if you made it to the end of this video looks like these guys are only watching the first two three minutes anyway but if you did make it to this part of the video thank you so much put a thumbs up in the comments down below give this video a like a huge pat on the back for making it this far guys thank you so much for your support we'll see how these girls are next week and until then guys stay safe and stay high peace